Good evening, everyone. My name is Seath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I've already, like, server hopped 12 times tonight, and basically what I do is, like, I jump into the world immediately, take a look around here, I'm looking, look, 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 and then I walk over to the bridge, and if I didn't see any spook trees in that amount of time, I jump, like, instantly. Next server. Go, go, go. And that method didn't really work all that well, so... Um, anyhow, tonight's episode, I'm going to be doing the, um, we're, we're gonna jump in here, here, come here, dude, wait, wait, where, where are you going? Wait, you need, bye, zombie! I forgot to sign zombie's base yesterday, and I feel kind of bad about it, so I'm gonna sign his base after today's video, but I've got an idea. Um, I'm gonna do a quick run, because I want to look for spookwood, it's just, it's October, it's something that you gotta do. Um, after that, uh, I'm going to head over to the maze, and I'm going to show you that controller trick, the controller glitch, with the Xbox 360 controller. So you can do it with an Xbox One controller, you can do it with a PlayStation 2 controller, I think. Uh, you can definitely do it with an Xbox 360 and an Xbox One. So, um, should be fun. Let's do this. Uh, just a quick run, looking for spook one. Looking for Spookwood. So, thank you everyone who left comments and, and uh, likes and subs yesterday. Like, wow, that was a lot, you guys. Uh, some of these already cleared out the boulders. Those are some nice boulders, just saying. Um, there we go. If you're eating breakfast right now and you're watching my video, good morning. Um, if you're at lunch, or about to go to lunch, good afternoon. And if you're eating dinner, good evening. But, um, it's, it's amazing to find out, like, who watches my videos when, and you guys comment to me all the time, they're like, I just got home from school, Code, and I'm doing my homework right now and watching your video, you're amazing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank you. Uh, I love positive positivity, positive comments. I don't care for negative comments. In fact, a lot of, like, if the comment is negative enough, and it doesn't have to be a mean comment. I mean, if it's just negative enough, I don't, I don't deal well with that. I don't, don't do well with negativity. Usually I rage on it. I'm like, what did he say? No, I'm just kidding. I, um, I usually try to remove negative comments. Um, I don't catch them all. Some of them are not intentionally mean. Some of them, like, I will actually respond to. And that's, it's okay. That's okay. And I should have that right. I should be able to go in there and say, hey, I don't want that comment on my channel. I still listen to it. If the comment is within reason and it has actual, actual merit to it, then I listen to it. Um, one of the comments from yesterday was, Code, I think the reason that you're so boring is because of your intros and your outros. I'm like, hmm. But then it goes on to say, I think you would get more subs if you were to change it and make shorter videos and edit. And then I was like, oh, okay, you must be new. So, it's okay. I left that comment. And I think I even gave it a like or something like that. So yes, it was... It wasn't mean, all right? So it wasn't an ill-intended intended comment, but I still took offense to it right off the bat. I'm like, why? I'm not... <clears throat> I know I make fun a lot of the times, like, oh man, Code, why are you so boring? Um, but it's really not. Like, I don't, I don't consider my own content boring. I actually watch myself. If I get bored, I, I actually throw on some of my older favorite episodes. Uh, one of my favorite ones is when I crashed into somebody with Samper Life. I was going uphill, they were going downhill, and we were on this thing. That was beautiful. Uh, I think my username's this made a meme of it. It was, it was fun. That was a long time ago. Oh, and there was another meme comment. <clears throat> the, um... Somebody commented on me and Locus's old, old first collaboration. Like the one that we did a long time ago. 
way before we got big and it was quite mean in fact I think I ended up removing that comment because they were talking about locusts and you know what that's that's not nice be nice that's like one of my first rules be nice in my comments and my videos because people will not remember what you said they won't not unless it's like within a speech and in history books to be remembered for all of eternity to be quoted in Hastings I don't know it they won't remember nobody remembers but do you know what they will remember? They will remember how you made them feel. And that is so much bigger skills. Because if you can make somebody feel loved, or if you can make somebody feel special and important, skills, that is far greater than what you said to them. So just remember that. If you're if you're mean in the comments or if you're mean on somebody else's comments, what was that, goodness? This? What in the world? Hold on! We blew a fuse! No, literally, we like technical difficulties and stuff. Where's my lights? My lights are gone. My heaters are off. No. Hold on. Ooh. we go. Is that, is that better? <laughs> wow. Okay. So we blew a breaker. Apparently that was pulling too much energy. You know, th this would never happen with like any other YouTuber. Any other YouTuber would like edit this out and be like, no, I'm not going to allow that into the video. But this right here, this is, this is life. This is the way the games happen. I mean, other people probably have power outages too. But you don't see this part. This is the part that like cut out and stuff. What was I talking about? I was talking about something. Comments. Be nice. Yeah, that's that's basically what I wanted you to get out of that is like even when somebody's being mean to you. Thank you so much for the sub. Who's that? Hello Long. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Uh, is Zombie Slayer still here? Yeah, Zombie Slayer. <clears throat> don't forget to grab those wires, dude. I don't want him to miss out on the episode, at the end of the episode. Dude, seriously, did, did you guys see those skills on that mountain? That was like pure skill. I mean, that was like technique style. Could you imagine doing that stuff in like real life? Like cranking the wheel to the left, hoping that it goes down correctly, cranking it back to the right and flipping the car around. Ah, uh, stunt drivers. Probably could have been a Roblox stunt driver. Ooh, that would be a fun game. <clears throat> Roblox stunt driver. It's where you like set up an obstacle course of the car and like you're given so many seconds or minutes to complete a course. Style gives you extra points. Stunt driver, Roblox edition. There used to be an old PlayStation 2 game called Stunt Driver or something like that. Kind of like that. There's been a lot of games I've played throughout my my history. Oh, and um, something I've noticed. A lot of newer games are all pixelated and 8-bit on purpose. Like, there's no reason for them to be not be like uh, high-definition vector graphics and stuff like that. Oh, gosh. Ooh. There we go. I made it. I'm so happy. Mm. For the past week, I've been trying to join you, but most of the times I get unauthorized to join the server. Uh, you get unauthorized to join the server whenever it is a private server. So that... Uh, you own... Oh, I don't want to scream at him. You only get it! No. <clears throat> you only get that when I am in private. Uh, and you may have done that, because I was in a private server with Mummy, I was also in a private server with Intel, uh, I had a, quite a few, like, anytime you guys see me, um, in a private server and you try and join me, it gives you the unauthorized to join the server 
message. So. It may not have been your fault. It may have truly been me. Not that I would blame you for, like, getting an error message whenever you're, you're trying to join me. That's not your fault. I would never blame, place blame on you. Okay, so we've done our run. Pretty good run, actually. Um, hmm. No spook wood. So that makes server 13 that I kind of hopped through. Um, I didn't do a thorough search like I normally do. Because I've just been sitting here talking to you guys. And that's, that's more fun to me. Being here talking to you and letting you know how my day was and like hoping that you had a good day. Talking about feelings. And feelings should be mentionable. Like I should be able to tell you when I'm sad or tell you when I'm happy. And that goes, that goes for adults in general. If you can't express your emotions as an adult, how are you expected to help and improve um, your children's lives, you know? Because you, you need to express yourself. And it should be mentionable when you are upset. Okay, how much? I'll buy a ticket. Where's everybody at? I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on I'm on a bot. Look at wait, that's two. Look at me, Fez. I'm on a boat. Boat. <laughs> I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Look at me, Fez. I'm on a boat. <laughs> Did you see a spoop tree? Uh nugget negative I have not found it <clears throat> although it's there somewhere amongst the trees sorry I had a controller in my lap seeing there it's a this is a little this right here this is a this is a rock candy um, controller it's an Xbox 360 controller but it's got the USB hookup, like that. And this is not its original wire. Um, I actually found a USB extender cable, which has like a male to female end. So you can take normal USBs and extend them up to 25 feet. So, I mean, that's, that's a really, really long cable. It's, uh, I don't wanna pull it all the way out because it'll, it'll break but yeah I did that myself um ended up opening up the back up here uh don't try this at home by the way not unless you have like an adult or parent helping you out uh where is my camera there it is so on the back I took out the little screws and this wire it was it was flimsy to begin with so I I went ahead and chopped off the old one and I ended up soldering the USB to the cables on the back uh, of all on the on the board itself so I just matched up wire for wire what what it was and uh, I looked at the USB pin pin out for the Xbox controllers and they're pretty much right across the board same same exact same so it took me just a few seconds and bam had a new cable Hello, Fez. Fezic. Hello, it's trains, please. Can you guys, do you guys, so how's it going, Code? Your wreck kind of, your wreck kind of late? Uh, I fell, I'm screaming again. I fell asleep on the couch! I fell asleep on the couch. Was a long day. <laughs> Absolutely not. Wait. Uh, it was later last night. <laughs> Oof. I feel you. <laughs> a lot of dads can relate to that. Um, especially like right after dinner. For some reason, I don't know. My metabolism has got to be part of it. 
Um, but I eat, and then it's like instant. Ooh, that was a good meal. I'll just lay down for a second and close my eyes just to rest. And all of a sudden, two hours later, I'm like, kids in bed. <laughs> so, take a little cat nap. Oh, he did a little cat. Look, he's just like little cat nap. <laughs> Sounds like it. I love couch power naps though. <laughs> Me too. And I think that that might be a dad thing. Like, uh, kids, <laughs> when you grow up, do not get in the habit of laying down on the couch right after eating the dinner dinner meal. <laughs> be forewarned. The dooms of the couch nap. <laughs> By the way, I got Hoover as one of my um, my uh, Roblox toys. I went by and, and picked up one of the new blue one and red ones. There, it's the series three and four, and I had no clue, but I got it. I've got the uh, the Hoover. And uh, here, let's see, let's see how long he's gonna run. Hi, I run this ferry. Uh, when is your next run? Two minutes and fifty-four seconds. That's plenty of time. Here, I will stand right there. Oh, filters, filters. Oh, hey. Yes, filters. Right. Um. Do you have an Xbox controller? Boop, boop, doop, 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 doop. Xbox One or Xbox 360 USB? I do. I saw that. It's awesome. Haven't tested it though. That's why I'm. What? That's what I'm doing right now. Night vision. <clears throat> Night vision. I have an Xbox controllers. I sometimes play this game using it when I plug it in. Let me go get one. Wait, we're on the boat. I'm on the boat. I'm just gonna wait. Does it take over keyboard and mouse? Yes, yes it does. And I can prove that to you as well. Um, so right now, I'm just sitting in my car, right? Xbox controllers just like this. All of a sudden, I plug it in. Boop -a -doo -boop. Controller detected. A. Hey, I am now using my controller. Now, if I sit back down, there we go. Ha ha ha. We are now in controller mode. Now, here's another cool thing. Like, I know I'm in controller mode, right? Wait, does it not spin around? Oh, it doesn't spin around. Usually, if you're sitting in a truck and you're in keyboard and mouse mode, it zooms you around to the back automatically. <clears throat> but, controller mode, I'm just going to set it down for a second. I'm going to hit spacebar. Oh, my goodness. I'm no longer in controller mode. Oh, wait, wait. Can I unplug this? There we go. Unplug the controller, and I am no longer in controller mode. It has switched. So... Roblox has done a really good job. If you've if you've played in studio, um, or if you want to see this, actually, can I show this? I don't know if I can show this. I don't have a game that I can pull up and show real quick, but I will be doing more programming videos on Roblox Studio too. So, <laughs> um, one of the things I did was I grabbed, um, yeah, see right there. Look. If I move the camera, look, no hands, no hands, no controller, boom. It automatically adjusts to the back. Let's switch back over to controller mode. All right, just use the controller. Hold on. There we go. Now if we move it around like there. How much wire do I need? Is Roblox going to freak out when I connect the controller? First time connection. No. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. Fine. Knife. Fine. <laughs> I cannot spell. Do you even keyboard code? Um, yeah, I do. Uh, I do. I promise. <laughs> lol, lol. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, guys. 
He's not running. Don't jump out, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get in the cars! Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Here, hold on. I gotta unplug that. Did you did you get in? Okay. <laughs> Code forgets how to speak again. <laughs> wow, barely made it. That was close. That was a close call. Anyhow, uh, what was the question? I was saying something. I forgot what I said. The adventures of Code on a boat. <laughs> one out of five. One out of five. We got re, re, uh, we've got clear skies all the way to tropical islands. Ten four, Hoover buddy. I'm on my way. <laughs> Here we go. There's the Palm Island. I love the Palm Island. I need to go finish my uh, my bridge, don't I? The drivable bridge to drive to bridge Palm Island thingy. I need to go do that. Definitely. Uh, I just fell feeling like I should. Hop out of my car and dance. I don't know why. I won't though. <laughs> Just jump out. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Yeah, don't don't do that. Don't jump out when it's driving. By the way, I, we also noticed that Hoover um, walks whenever he's like turning. Whenever the boat's like turning around doing a 360, he walks. Dude, what are you doing? Crazy. By the way, I have totally done that. Like, the boat stopped, like, right here one time. And it was there for, like, a good two minutes. And I jumped out. I'm like, Hoover, what are you doing? All of a sudden, the moment I said doing, the boat goes, boop. And it glitched forward. And I fell in the water. And I died right there. I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious? That's not funny, Hoover. <laughs> By the way, Mummy's joke about the Hoover candy bar was hilarious. <laughs> Something I was also thinking about is like, I wonder if the Hoover bar is actually one of those constipation chocolate bars. <laughs> Makes you go poop. <laughs> Get it? Because it flings logs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> bad joke code, bad joke. Family friendly environment. What are you doing? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's that was funny. I don't care who you are. That was that was a good joke. <laughs> um anything up there? Anything up there? Nothing, 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 nothing. Alright. Alright. Ooh, ooh, no car wars. All right, stop. Okay, here, here we go. Connecting controllers. Okay, so do you guys see how it di it's dynamically lit down there? Spooky maze, don't bump each other. Use a controller. You should get night vision all right here we go controllers in use controller all right I'm out Hold on. Where am I? there I am all right here we go whoa what's go whoa 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 stop 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 what's going on stop what in the world? Ah, okay. My left trigger was stuck. Whoa, it's like super dark. This did not help at all. Oh wait, maybe it did. There we go. Why all of a sudden it works down here? That's beyond me. That's okay. 
Look at that awesome night vision. Oh my goodness. I can see, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. There's no filters on whatsoever. I've got no filters. I've got no filters on me. I can see, see, see. Hello. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'll come through here. I'll come. You can go through there. Lefty roo. Take a right a roo. I think he was right around there in that corner. This is the top of the fishbone, right here. First, not fishbone, the wishbone. Gonna have one right here, and one right there. Yeah, so that's one, two, and three are all blocked off. Ooh, can I see through? I can see through walls and stuff. Wow. Can you see, buddy? Woo, 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 woo. This way, bud. All right, should be four. And five -a -roo. Four and five. Whoa, whoa, sorry, sorry, sorry. Back up, back up, back up. Woo, there we go. Four and five are done. On down here. That's number seven. And number... Boom! Number six is open, guys. So it is a Monday. Number six is open. Ooh. Oh, come on, come on. Boom. Right here. Right here. On around, taking a right. And then lefty roo, straight on through. Left and a right, and it's blue wood. Left, right, left, blue wood. Hello. I'm just going to take a little stroll. Little stroll roo. Oh my gosh, it's like so clear. I can, I can literally see for miles. This is, this is amazing. I lost code. Do you want me to come back? I can come back. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a. All right, so I'm gonna do left, right, left, or sorry, right, left, right, and then straight on through till morning. And there we go. Follow the left wall, right there. S turn. You guys are following along on the map. I am so sorry. Somebody, woo! Right there, right there. You go. Come on, buddy. Ready? There we go. This way. Come on. Woo! -hoo. Follow to the right. This way. This way. This way. This way. Lefty. Lefty. Woo! Is it, did he see me? Yeah, he saw me. There you are. Boop, boop. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you, you go ahead. I'm going to go get Fez. Smiley face. Go. I'll come back. There we go. <clears throat> so, there we go. All right, and let's go get Fez. So we need to head back into the cave. Fez, where are you? It's okay. He probably has no clue. That's fine. I'll find him. That's what I do. The maze rescue team never sleeps. Just kidding. Not part of any kind of maze rescue team. Ugh. All right, right around. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I can't get through nothing. Nothing. I like the looks of this zone still. Oh, the blue the blue wood zone? I love the blue wood. Okay. Where is he at? <clears throat> Fez. Where are you? Oh! 
You made it? To blue wood? Did you make it to blue wood? Outside entrance maze itself. Okay. Uh, let's see. On my way. O W M. I am on my way. Here I go again on my own. Sorry. Hey, buddy. Hey, there he is. Right this way. I shall be your escort and the guides. These caves were made long ago by stalactites and stalagmites. As water came down and seeped through the cracks of the ground, they formed these tunnels. Just kidding. Sounds like a tour guide. Nice and easy. Can I? Can I barely press? Oh my gosh! It's like a dynamic acceleration. Oh, this is awesome. Anyhow, door number six is open for anybody interested. Wee! Come down through here. Oh, oh stuck. Stuckaroo. That's door number five, by the way, right there. Still behind me? Come on, buddy. Come on, little buddy. By the way, he can't get lost through this part. Right here, he can kind of get lost. So, I'll point off in this direction. <laughs> I think he's having a hard time with the controller. <laughs> there you are. Alright, this way. And you should be able to see me straight on till morning. There we go. Now he can't get lost because there's no other turns out of that S turn there. Boom! Blue wood. Oh, I love that. I love that. Like, okay. A lot of people have been sending me messages like, hey, here's a, a map on how to get to the, the blue wood. All right, now, check this out. I've just unplugged the controller. Watch this. All right. Now my controllers are really messed up. Okay, hold on. All right, plug that back in. All right, use mouse and keyboard. There we go. So now, now it's all dynamic and stuff. Look at that. Look at the difference in colors and stuff like that. That's, that's insane. Can I show you the axe proc thing? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe. Uh, let me see how long... Okay, we're at 33 minutes. That was a... That was a good episode about the controller. So, I mean, I know a lot of people don't have access to an Xbox 360 controller, but it definitely makes a change, a difference. Like, it didn't do it that time, but I don't think the transition's the same. Like, it, it's, it's just different, you know? So make sure you plug it in before you go down in deep dark holes or places and things because it changes the camera filter as well. So, Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call at the end. Hey, and hit that bell because it doesn't matter. <laughs> I have asked multiple times if anybody's been getting the notifications and apparently even if you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell saying, yes, send me confirmation when code posts a video, I wanna know about it. And YouTube, in response, will just send you whatever notification they want, that's on them. So, this is me talking smack about YouTube. I thought I would never see the day. I would, I would never, ever make fun of YouTube. But I, I just did, and that's, that's me just being frustrated. So YouTube, if you're listening, I want you to understand how upset I am that you took away the sub button from sending out the notification and you made a notification button. 
because I was there when you did it, and a lot of people got upset about it. And now, even when people are hitting that notification button, they're still not getting the notifications. That is double messed up. So, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's the other way around. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So, I'm calling you out. But that's all. Yeah. I'm still going to be making videos. And I'm still going to be, like, doing this thing. And I know people are still going to enjoy my content. Whether they get the notification or they don't get the notification. Because I know that the content is good. I love you guys very much. Sorry for the rant. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro.